Hello, hello. Hey, thanks for joining us again um, at my channel. I really appreciate you guys checking the content out. I have another sub two student uh, here that's going to hit us with some gold nuggets and hopefully help us out in our growth and our journey of, you know, continue to be 1% better every day. Uh, today I have Danielle. Uh, she is part of our sub two community, like I mentioned, and is willing to share and share how she's, you know, dealing with real estate investing and, and having a W2. So Danielle, do you, uh, thanks again for taking your time and, and being here with me. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about you and your, your passions and where you see yourself here in the next, you know, five years or so or, or short term goals? And then we'll, we'll take the conversation from there. Yeah, yeah, of course. Um, so actually, though, little pivot, I'm in the Gator tribe, not yet in sub two. OK, awesome. that's a shorter term plan. Um, but yeah, I really just I had no prior real estate experience up until four months ago. I decided to spontaneously join the Gator community um, at the same time as I was making a big. Went right at it, joined the community. Um, again, had no prior experience, but I just knew that I wanted um, to build a business that is eventually outside of my time. So, um, and then also create wealth, you know, eventually yeah. as well um that does not revolve around me being you know putting like being paid hourly and then if i'm not able sure. to make it or something happens that i'm just not paid um so that was kind of the motivation behind it i've always been interested in real estate um but i never thought that it was attainable for me because um i basically run a small business don't make a lot of money off of that and so the idea of qualifying for a loan right now was like mm. there's no way you know um, sure. so then i came across face Marby's youtube videos and was like oh that's that's a game changer you know to right so it's it, it eye-opening right yeah get into the real estate investing space without actually needing the the high w-2 income um that you kind of need right now to qualify for for most properties um and Jerks. so that was what that was what led me down that rabbit hole and then i learned about the sub two community and the gator community um and at the time the gator community just ended up being more financially um popular sure. because of being in the middle of that whole move and everything um and so yeah that's that's kind of where I dove into and I'll be joining sub two soon as well. So that's exciting. And I've just been having the greatest time. Awesome. So what, what are a little bit about your passions? I know you say you have a small business, right? So what, what is that small business? Yeah. So I train horses. Um, cool. yeah, I've, I have ridden since I was nine years old. So I'm 25 now. It's a long time. Yeah. Um, it was just something that I started immediately when my family moved up to California and or sorry up to Idaho and I just never stopped um and it was one of those things where people would be like hey you should go to college um get a degree you know like the whole tradition yeah thing. And I like I kept trying and I was like you know I just don't it's not calling me I'm a very like entrepreneurial mind and so I've always had like little business venture ideas that I've had in my head and then like started and then never never finished um and so that's just the way my brain is wired and so eventually i dropped out of college and was like i'm just gonna focus on the horses right now because that was the only thing that i knew i wanted like i felt driven towards and passionate about and something that i wanted to continue my skills on and and building that and so that's kind of what where i ended up for the past few years is kind of building my knowledge and my skills and my business uh horse training so that's so cool i mean you have that creativity spirit in you right that entrepreneur spirit where you said hey yeah i tried school but it's not for me and i have a, i can bring value by doing this right and, and you by starting right. your own business i mean I, I, it's 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 amazing right you, you go it's it's uh i'm cheering for you you know make it happen yeah that's so cool <laughs> Yeah. Um, yeah. you know, I, I, and, and there are those people that need that structure, right. Including myself, you know, at one point, you know, I did go to college and did 
thing, but you, I needed sort of that structure. And it didn't hit me in my head till way down the path. It's like, what are we doing? <laughs> right. I know. You just kind of so stop and you're like, oh, it's not the right path for me. You know, like, yeah. and no matter where we reach that, yeah, no matter where we, at what point in time we all reach that conclusion, we obviously all have, because that's why we joined. Um, yeah. So but, I know, I know with the, with the Gator community, right? Cause I'm, I, I actually took both pills at once. I did Gator and sub two, wow. <laughs> but I, I don't understand. Never do that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so uh, I did that and I did Gator for about, I think a week, a uh, week and a half ish. And then I was like, nah, we're going to sub two. So we went sub two and I've been focusing on that, but I did understand a little bit about this, uh, the Gator community, right? And, and 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 it's a lot of building network, right? Getting to know other yeah. people, letting them know what you offer and, and getting out there. So how are you finding time to, to make those connections uh, and, and be able to get around the Gator community and, 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 and reach out, right? And say, hey, I have this, you know, let me help you out. Uh, oh, what, are, yeah. what, are, what, are, what are the opportunities? What are the challenges you, you've seen with that? Yeah. That's a really good question. Um, so like starting out, honestly, um, and it's not as easy to tell now, but I grew up like the shyest person you could imagine. I was so, so introverted. I couldn't even walk up to somebody and look them in the eye and have a conversation. So <clears throat> that's always been a struggle that I put a lot of self-development into um, and self-growth and focus to try to get past that. Um, and so then joining this community and stepping into a business venture where it's all based on relationships and it's all based on connecting with as many people as you can to find the people that you want to keep working with. Um, I just, honestly, I threw myself in there there you go. have gotten all really comfortable <laughs> Comfortable with being uncomfortable, I would say. That's I it. just like tried to shift my mindset to basically be like, okay, I am scheduling these two hours out of the day for calls and, and connecting with people, and I'm going to be uncomfortable the whole time, um, but I'm going to do it anyway, and I'm just going to work on my ability to have conversation and, um, yeah, just be smooth in conversation with people, you know, not the skill... That's not a skill that I was like born with or had growing up. And so right. um, I worked on that a lot. But yeah, I would just say there's a lot of time blocking for me because again, right, I, I do have another job. And so um, after work, I, I get all, I finish around like three, two or three o'clock usually. And so then I have those couple hours um, to set up calls or do whatever work for my gator real estate business that I need after that um, or before, right? Like I've set up calls before I started work with people who are mm. Eastern time. Mm. I'm in Pacific so time. good. Yeah. So I would, I've literally scheduled calls at like five thirty six in the morning. Here you go. I love, I love the way you're, 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 you're finding that debt space, right? And that other people would find that debt space and say, oh, you know, I'm just going to watch a show or watch something, right? Or, or, or just right. be on Facebook, not being productive. And you're finding that debt space to make calls and take action. Ah, that's, that's amazing. Well done. That's Thank so you. cool, you know? So it's really, the thing. it's really important though, when you have another job that you're working, you know, it's, I think it's just being so structured with your time. Um, to be, you gotta be to time block all these things more intentional right with your time exactly right? and i just figure like after 7 30 8 o'clock at night that's my free time and i can yeah. do whatever i want with that or if i want to go you know go to the gym um that's usually when i do it but other than that i'm trying to time block and be productive to some extent through the rest of the yeah. day so I'd be curious, what what are you using the time block? Do uh, you have like your old calendar at the wall that you're writing, or do you use like Google Calendar, or you, or yeah, you know, <laughs> technique you use to, to 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 manage your time better? Or are you still improving on that as as we're as we're speaking? Is that something you think you need to improve more? Well, I mean, I think that's always something that we can all just 
consistently improve on. You know, oh, yeah. sometimes things sure. fall through the cracks and whatever. I've had a lot of people be like, you should really be using Google Calendar, blah, 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 blah. I've tried that. And for whatever reason, it's the pen and paper for me. I love it. That yeah. works. And that is what like solidifies everything in my mind of what it, it's something about writing it down and yeah. seeing it on paper. So I just have a planner and I'll just write down, you know, my times for the day, like six to seven in the morning doing X, Y, Z. And then, yeah. Um, yeah, I love that. Yeah. It's plan. same here. I, I, I like to write it down. Uh, I, I, that's one process I, to your point, right? Everybody finds ways on how to improve their processes, especially when you join a community that helps you grow more and more. Um, I know in, in the sub two group, uh, you know, they told us, Hey, right, right. You know, put it, put, put, put it on, on a wall and, and those white, uh, what do they call those whiteboards? Right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's for you to also be able to track, right. Not only on the calendar, but then you can set your targets there. Hey, I want to make certain amount of calls or network with certain amount of people. Right. And you have it at the wall and you walk by that and you see it and it's like, yeah. I need to do it. <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> yeah. So that's, that's, that is one thing that I'm also improving. So, you know, I think all of us finding little areas where we can improve a little bit better. So. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Another practice I'm trying to, that I'm starting, that I haven't been doing, but I'm going to start in the mornings when I wake up, when I wake up, just writing down like my big goals and my, my visions, you know, like what I want in the next five, 10 years to happen. Um, yeah, I've been, I've had people tell me recently, like, I should really just add that in because it's crazy kind of manifesting that every day. And then looking back, couple years yeah. from now you know and just like having just putting out into the universe every day what you want and what you're trying to achieve and so that's something i'm starting to add into my morning schedule there, there was that story right from jim carrey that said that he himself wrote a check for a certain amount of money right and he said i'm going to make this amount of money and he wrote a check to him saying i'm gonna yeah. I, I forgot what the quantity was but right there is that story, right? That when you manifest yourself something, right? And you, you, you truly believe it, things are going to line up and, and, and it's going to make it happen. Right. And, and us being part of this community, I think it's a testament that we have people that will surround us and be able to help us achieve that. So that's awesome. Yeah. Um, uh, that's, yeah, that's so true in that. Cool. Yeah, one, Danielle. That's... And have you, uh, so I know you talk about goals, right? So do you have any short-term goals currently, long-term goals um, that, that yeah. you've already thought about and, and kind of wrote down and say, hey, you know, this is where I'm at? Right, right. Um, well, okay, starting with short-term goals. Really, my shorter-term goals, I've, I've has been trying to build my community in my network in the gator tribe which is up you know the spot i'm at now um and getting some deal flow just getting some experience and i've i've done a couple so far um good for you that's awesome. trying to get yeah just trying to get a little bit of consistency with that and then um i'm also i've started direct to agent outreach about th three or four weeks ago so fairly new at that awesome but, um, look at I you yeah, honored with a sub two student. Um, so he's kind of helping me, yeah. me, coach me. Yeah, exactly. Through that process. And so we're just teaming up and I'm just getting, again, getting more comfortable on the phone and like what the objections are and how to navigate those conversations. And um, another short term goal would be to, you know, get a couple deals done with my sub two partner and getting some assignment fees that I can then roll into joining the sub two community yeah that step out um as far as longer term goals <laughs> i mean i'm i'm a visionary so i yeah real big but i would like to have um a big enough rental portfolio that i can actually like retire my parents and awesome create that wealth for my whole family um and so obviously attaining those basically through creative finance um and i haven't exactly narrowed down the exact investment strategy or like red yeah. strategy that i'll use for that but um 
you know, things alter as you, as you go and as you learn more and as you just get your feet wet in it. So I think that my exact strategies will come to me as I just dive in and take action and see what For sure. For sure. Things will start shaping up, right? I mean, you, you have that, 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 that painting in your mind already, right? Of what you want to accomplish, right? And sometimes as an artist, right, you start painting using the brush, right? And you don't see that end product till, till, you know, it could take a while, right? Those painters take time, right? T- making that picture the way they've envisioned it. And, and, you know, that's, that's kind of where I see, you know, where you're at, you're getting that brush stroke and you started to make those initial paint, you know, strokes. So that's amazing. Well, what I, what I realized was just that I'm such a, I'm such an all or nothing person. That's just my personality. So it was either going to be, I'm in analysis paralysis forever. And I'm just <laughs> constantly telling myself I don't know enough to start because that's how yeah. it works. Or I just start and I have no idea what I'm doing. And I just do it anyway. And I bring people along with me that can help me through it, which is how I got my first gator deal was that I, I just had already made the connections awesome. of people to call to help me, you know? So. Awesome. Well, I love your networking and, you know, and you're helping, you're working with other sub two members. I'm sure with the matter of, you know, maybe less than a month, if you keep crashing it, you know, you're, you'll be in the sub two community and we'll be here to help and grow each other. So awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Good stuff. Uh, uh, the last thing I had in my mind was I know you're in Gator. Uh, so you may want to check out Alexis Morgan. Um, and I'll yeah. send you, I'll send you a message, you know, probably you've heard of her. She's a big game, the Gator community. Um, and actually I, I met her just, uh, two days ago up here in the Atlanta, uh, meetup. And as uh, she was talking about how she, she markets herself differently than, than, you know, than most you, right. Cause you have to kind of, to your point, networking, right. And, and yeah. the marketing she uses is, uh, it, it's pretty much just, just. To, well, you you said it earlier. Just putting yourself out there, letting people know what you're doing, you know. And you hopping right. on the hopping on this call with me and having this conversation, you know, it's 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 huge, right? Because now people know that you're a Gator. And and for those that don't know what Gator is, is is the person that funds money, earnest money, right? When 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 a wholesaler needs earnest money, she's the person you need to talk to right here, right? And, and she'll provide you that money to close that deal. Or do you also do double closing? Do you fund double closing um, with you? Or just no, currently? I, I haven't funded one of those yet. I've funded a wrap deal. For okay. There we go. Yeah. So we, yeah. you know, we have somebody here community, if you guys need anybody, you know, so awesome. Great job. You're putting yourself out there, letting people know what you're doing. And I'm sure deals are going to come to you. Um, I, I definitely value your time and, uh, you know, I know you're, you're busy, but if, if there was anything else you want to share with our community that you want to wrap up, you know, share us your Instagram handle or your YouTube or, or Facebook, how people can get a hold of you. Uh, yeah. that'd be awesome. No, absolutely. Um, so my Facebook and my YouTube are just Danielle McMurphy. Um, the last names M C M U R P H Y. And then my Instagram handle is Danielle Mick 56, MC 56. So I would love if people followed me or just like messaged me, get on a call again, like I've just been jumping on calls, just connecting with people like crazy, just like we are now. Um, there we go. So I would love to love to just set up more, you know, and, and connect with more people, um, hear what you guys are doing, hear what you need and and what I can do for you. And yeah. Awesome, Daniel. But let's crush it. Friends. Yeah. Create more friends, create more opportunities. Right. So okay. I'll definitely, uh, you know, we'll, we'll, I'll keep you in mind, you know, when the next deal comes around and yeah, we'll hopefully work together and make some deals happen. We love that. That's awesome. awesome Thank you so much know. for having me on. It hey, no, it was exciting. Thanks for joining and taking the time out. So everybody else, you know, if you're if you're afraid and uh, stuck in that analysis paralysis, let's make it happen. Take action. You know, make uh, like we say, right? Be be one percent better every day. Uh, if it's not in real estate industry, whatever you want to shoot for, make that take that initial step. Make it happen. So with that, again, 
Thank you, Daniel, for taking the time. And I look forward to uh, chatting, uh, you know, uh, down the road. Absolutely. Thanks so much for having me on and everyone have a great day. Hey, appreciate it. Take care.